What is up guys? TD here, bringing you yet another awesome boss fight. Today we are fighting Lord Ryolith in Firelands. If you ever wonder what it was like to be a gnome without actually playing one, that's about what this fight is like. All you really get to fight for the majority of this is his feet. Which, it's an interesting mechanic. It can be a little frustrating at times, but it's pretty cool. Basically, throughout most of the fight, you have to attack his feet to steer him. You can see part of the UI there pops up with a bar that either goes to the left or right depending on which foot you're attacking, and that will affect which way he turns and therefore walks. Why is this important? Well, he starts with 80 stacks of this armor that can only be knocked off by getting him to step on volcanoes that he spawns throughout the entire fight. And of course the only way to get him to walk over them is to steer him towards them. So it's kind of a pain we actually had we had a couple wipes on this guy because <sighs> He doesn't always, he moves kind of slow, but then when he stops, he continues to turn while he stops, and you can get kind of off course pretty quick that way. So you always have to be aware of which way he's facing at all times, and just kind of keep him steered towards the middle so that as the volcanoes spawn, you can keep him moving towards them. It's important not only because of the fact that it knocks his armor off, but the volcanoes themselves will shoot fireballs at you the whole time and apply a stacking dot that when it gets to a high amount of stacks really really starts to hurt. And that was what actually killed us is that he got so far off course we had so many volcanoes up that I had so many stacks of the dot that I was taking like a hundred thousand damage every tick or something like that and it was no way I could survive that so it's really important to to keep him moving towards the volcanoes as much as possible now you can see already a bunch of times there are plenty of as the little fragments of Ryolith that spawn and they're not really too much to deal with they've got a small amount of health they don't deal too much damage you can usually round them up, AOE them down pretty quick, and then move back to the the feet. And you always, you, you kind of have to micromanage here, watching where he's moving and dealing with the ads, because you can't just leave Ryolith to go, because he'll just walk whichever way he wants to, and he'll get off track in a hurry. He also does a concussive stomp ability. It's, it's really nothing to worry about. It hits for like 35, 40,000 so you don't need to worry about that. The sparks of Ryolith ads are a good bit tougher than the other ads that pop up, the big sparks. So they do a lot more damage. Um, again, it, like for the Death Knight or the main tank person, it's really not a big deal, but if you have a clothy or other squishy DPS ad, you want to get them down quick. Once you do get all his armor off his feet, he turns into this big liquid magma guy, and he dies really fast, as you can see, look at that, he is already dead, holy crap. And that's it, guys. <laughs> kind of a quick video here. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. We're going to be getting all the bosses in Firelands up as I get them recorded. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys on the next video.